on today's weather situation. It's four o'clock. The snow has been falling steadily across parts of our state for several hours. Places like Humboldt and North Central Iowa have already seen more than five inches of snow. Chief Meteorologist Chris Gloninger has been tracking this system for days. Chris, what's the latest for us right now? It's coming down through the metro in areas to the north and east, especially from Oskaloosa all the way up to Algona. Some uh, pretty impressive snowfall amounts. The rain snow line dropping south a little slower than we expected, but I think we make up for that as we go through the next couple of hours. That cold air comes crashing in. This is the storm system, the back edge near the Twin Cities. It's dropping south and we have this influx of moisture that keeps the snow going. It's been filling in dramatically just over the last couple of hours. Everything taking shape and evolving just like we had anticipated. Again, a little bit slower, a little bit warmer. Uh, those are the only two issues that we've been dealing with here in West Des Moines. You can see some large flakes. There was a snow plow that just made a pass off of this road into the parking lot, getting it down to pavement. But even the main roads there are starting to get snow covered across the region with temperatures that are slowly dropping down to 33 degrees in east wind at 14 drops the wind chill to 23 degrees. Snowfall reports already Algona seven inches of accumulation Humboldt at five Ames and partially of Wright County at uh, four inches, Ames at three inches and counting that snow continuing to fill in. That rain snow line will drop south down towards the Missouri state line. Snow intensity picking up through six o'clock, seven, eight o'clock. These darker shades of blue that go from Story City and Ames down through Ankeny and Des Moines out through Waukee and Adel down through Indianola. That snow continuing through nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. And then notice by 11 and midnight that back edge begins to drop south. I think most of the accumulations are done by one or two o'clock in the morning. If you do the math, that's another 10 hours of accumulating snow across the area. That's how I think we get to these totals. This is additional snow. Again, another three to six inches puts us over a foot up towards uh, Algona, for example, uh, into Marshalltown. We've had well over four inches of accumulation down towards Oskaloosa as well. Six to nine where it really hasn't made the switch to snow where the snow started only within an hour or two and then amounts a little bit lower because of the rain down across the southwestern part of the state and then to the east across the Mississippi River Valley. It's been too dry there for us to see any significant snow. So Stacy will continue to follow this and how much more at five o'clock. Thanks, Chris. Iowa State Patrol and the Des Moines Police Department are reporting a number of traffic problems. Towing is not recommended in much of our KCCI viewing area. Let's take a look at the roads on the southeast side of the metro. This is our DOT camera at US 65 at University Avenue. You see there is snow on the roads. Traffic at this point seems to be fairly smooth and uh, also pretty sparse, which is probably a good idea. Now let's take a look at the road conditions statewide. You see where the weather is making an impact here. All the green on your map on the uh, southern half of the state is uh, normal winter driving conditions. The blue on the map uh, indicate roads that are partially covered and unfortunately there are some places on the map here that are pink and that means uh, completely covered. So be careful out there. Meteorologist Ann Campolongo is in Storm Chaser. She's on the roads to give you a street level view of conditions. So Ann, what are you seeing right now? Yes, yeah, Stacy, we are in uh, the Storm Chaser here and we are on 235 headed east. We're just passing uh, the Capitol here. I'll switch you over to the roof so you can see what it looks like outside the storm chaser you're looking to the back of our vehicle so you can see some of the weather instruments on the top but so far as you've mentioned uh, the roads are or like the traffic is moving pretty steadily at least what we have seen so far on 235 east we're kind of panning around now and you can see snow is collecting on the grassy surfaces roadways for the most part are pretty slushy outside and when we have the camera facing the front all the snow and slush starts to collect on the camera lens, unfortunately. So that's why we keep it face to the back. Uh, but we've got three lanes of traffic here, all three lanes moving pretty well. At this point, we've seen a few snow plows across the area as well. They're doing a pretty good job, at least for now, of keeping up uh, with what we're seeing on the interstates. We've gotten off on a few exits in those side roads and exit ramps not in the best condition, but visibility is another issue out here. We're down to about a half a mile of visibility here in Des Moines, and I think that's one of the bigger issues when driving in the snow. Roads for the most part just wet and slushy, but 
you, it's hard to see uh, as you head, if you look out further on the roadways there, visibility about half a mile here in Des Moines. So we've got fog, we've got snow, and things, as Chris mentioned, only to get worse here as we head through the overnight hours and early evening hours as well. So we will be out here all night tonight. We'll give you a live look coming up on the 5 and 6 o'clock news on KCCI of what the roadways are like, and we'll keep you posted here. Stay seen. And great information. Thanks so much. So, folks, if you can, stay home. If you have to travel, please be safe. Coming up on KCCI 8 News at 5, we will have complete storm team coverage of today's storm from Todd Magel up in Ames to Marcus McIntosh down in Indianola. We'll see you at 5.